Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with episode 43 of Skyrim. All right, when we left off, we had uh, just followed Melbourne slightly into his little path to get out of Skyrim. Uh, turns out he's going to a different dock than I expected him to. Uh, I thought he was going to the Windhelm one, then I realized we're in solitude. That's a long fucking run. So I think what he's going to do is head to the uh, Solitude Docks, which makes a lot more sense, now that I think about it. <laughs> so we'll just head to the Solitude Docks pretty quickly. Maybe. We'll just spend part of the episode making sure Malborn is safe. That's probably what I'm going to title this episode, now that I think about it. <laughs> Ensuring Malborn's safety. That is what I shall name this episode. And... So far, it's been pretty uneventful. Last time I did this, it was like freaking craziness up and down. Then again, my uh, game file was kind of glitched at that point. So that might have something to do with it. Uh, excuse me, I'm burpy. Now the Thalmor will be hunting me for the rest of my life. You keep telling me that. I'm trying to help you stay alive. Just go. Jeez, he's so ungrateful a little bit. I almost don't want to do it, but at the same time, it's not a nice thing to do, so fuck it. I'll just go this way. I'll take those. And... He's just gonna run over the dock there. Whee! Just head over this little bridge here. Uh, maybe he's heading towards the lighthouse. I don't actually remember where his whole running animation goes, but I know it's a long ways. And he has every possibility to die on the way there. Whether I'm with him or not. So, you know, it's not nice. Oop, I'll take that. And what are you doing running over here? Oh, I think he's running to this boat here. Maybe. Like I said, I'm just... <laughs> just completely doing conjecture at this point. Anyway, the other guy, uh, Edius, or Elias, I don't remember the name. But yeah, he'll be fine. He knows his way around Skyrim, so I don't concern myself with his well-being. Because he's pretty much good. I need those, and I need that. And now I'll keep running after him. Gotta be quick about it. Because now he's stuck. He's stuck right here for no reason. This. <laughs> Melbourne, you're drunk. Are you drunk right now? I think you're drunker than I am half the time. What the? F what are you running into freaking. What are you running into horkers for? You stupid. The fuck are you doing, Hellborn? Jesus, Hubert Christ. Okay. How am I capturing their souls? I don't think I have any soul gems on me. I do. Oh, okay. Um, Melbourne, where did you go? Melbourne, what the fuck? You just ran into the water and then disappeared. Um, uh, Okay. Um That was weird. Weird occurrence. Okay, I'm just gonna loop around here until I figure out where he went. And I might not. The fuck? Where'd he go? 
I, fuck me then. I'll just unlock this marker. Uh, what the? Okay, that's a clam. I, I was wondering what the hell I saw there. Uh, we'll just unlock this marker here for the lighthouse. I have no idea where he went. The fuck? Ah, well. What is with my spells today? They just don't work as intended. And eventually, I'm going to recharge enough. There we go. Launch you across the sea. Whee! Okay. Um... Sworn I heard something over here. Is that the uh, horker that I had, was shooting over here? What the hell are you doing over there? That is weird. And, fuck it. There we go. Just so I can get him off the map, because I had a feeling he would probably hamper my ability to travel. Well, fast travel, anyway. Okay. Now, I, uh... Head back to Riverwood. To get my equipment back, and... That stuff. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna drop my, uh... Lesser Soul Gems, and then... So they're emptied, and then I can pick them up, and then I can use them again for actual lesser souls, instead of petty souls that are worthless. To me, anyway. Okay. I'm not seeing any vampire attacks, yet. I mean, I saw one before, but that was just weirdness. I'll take all those. There we go. Now they're empty. And I can reuse them. Okay. Didn't even really hear that. Now we'll talk to Delphine. Right up here. In her inn. Well, it's not her inn. It's technically Orgnar's inn. But she kind of runs it too, I guess. I don't know. I don't even know. If I claim to understand, I don't understand. To be perfectly honest. If I understand at all, it's fucking amazing. Okay, we'll shut that. Gather my gear. Because that takes priority. Talk to you. You made it out alive, at least. Your gear is safe in my room, as promised. Yeah, I just picked it up. Did I know that. Did you anything useful? The Thalmor know nothing about the dragons. Really? That seems hard to believe. You're sure about that. Why'd you send me if you weren't going to believe me? You're right, you're right. I just... I was sure it must have been them. If not the Thalmor, who? Or what? I don't know, but the Thalmor are looking for someone named Esburn. Esburn? He's alive? I thought the Thalmor must have got him years ago. That crazy old man. I guess not. Figures the Thalmor would be on his trail, though, if they were mm -hmm. trying to find out what's going on with the dragons. What would the Thalmor want with Esburn? You mean aside from wanting to kill every blade they can lay their hands on? Yeah, other than that. Esburn was one of the blade's archivists back before the Thalmor smashed us during the Great War. Ah. He knew everything about the ancient dragon lore of the blades. Obsessed with it, really. Nobody paid much attention back then. I guess he wasn't as crazy as we all thought. Apparently, y'all fucked up. <laughs> so the Thalmor think the Blades know about the dragons. Ironic, right? The old enemies assume that every calamity must be a plot by the other side. Even yeah. so, we've got to find Esburn before they do. He'll know how to stop the dragons if anybody does. Do they know where he is? They seem to think he's... <laughs> that was a whistle there. They seem to think he's hiding out in Riften. 
Ripton, eh? Probably down in the Ratway, then. It's where I'd go. You'd better get to Riften. Talk to Brynjolf. He's well-connected. A good starting point, at least. Okay. Oh, and when you find Esbern, if you think I'm paranoid, you may have some trouble getting him to trust you. Just ask him where he was on the 30th of Frostfall. You'll know what it means. Okay. So what's important about me being Dragonborn? The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we've forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. But we just Together, figured out Esborn's around. Dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Okay. Cool beans. Anyway, I don't know if we'll do that immediately. I mean, I want to head to Riften for plenty of reasons, but I'm not sure, entirely sure I want to do it for that this first. I'm doing that one-handed. Sorry if <laughs> you saw a bit of wall there. I was trying to clear, clean out something. My ear it made it very difficult to concentrate on what I was doing. Consequently, made it difficult to do what I was doing. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. I was supposed to kill the giant at... Secundus Shelf. The Western Watchtower would make it quick to get there. The Mage Armor perks makes defensive spells more effective for anyone wearing clothes instead of armor. That's good, at least. I mean, we're not going to be using clothes, but eh, at least I know. Skyrim is engaged in a bloody civil conflict between the Rebel Stormcloaks and soldiers of the Imperial Legion. And there's Secunda's shelf there. I have Firebolt equipped. Uh, reanimate corpse. I'm just making sure I have everything marked as I'm supposed to. Also, other items do I have? Uh, yes, I can drop those. Cool. So we're going to be nothing but a hindrance. Said that right, right? Hindrance. Yeah, I said it right. Cool. And head up to Secunda's Shelf. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. That is a kitty cat. And it's a big old saber kitty. There we go. The fuck? What is with my goddamn... Okay, he's going to help me a little bit, which is nice. Oh, you son of a bitch. And you are beheaded for killing my friend, you little shit. <laughs> Alright, necklace of minor stamina. Hey, you could use that. Uh, gold. And that's silver ore. I need a pickaxe. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry, my friend. I tried my best. Perhaps you will be able to join me as a corpse. Alright. Cool. Arise, my friend. We shall fight the giants together. This glory will be both of ours. Alright. And there's one of them. Oops. Miss. That one didn't miss. Okay. Let's see if we can get any better with that. Holy shit. Okay. I thought I would be able to uh, get a little more damage than I'm currently getting. Uh, fortify health. Uh, a couple minor healings. And Berserker. Do I have anything of the Berserker? I should. I remember having something like that. Uh, filter of the Berserker. 40% more damage for 60 seconds. Okay. And I'll... Take your soul. Okay. Okay. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. Alright, what I need to do is get more healing into me. A little bit. 
And a little more food. Let's do one of those. And medicine stew should do it. And down you're going to go, bitch. Take that. Alright. Take what you got, which is plenty. Holy crap, didn't expect that. And take that. There we go. Man. Didn't expect him to have as much as he did. And I didn't expect him to take out the saber cat with one hit either. Jeez. Fucking, he jumped in the air and then never came down. <laughs> he just turned to ash in the air. God damn. That's pretty cool, though. You, that was a great death for a loyal companion, I tell you what. Good lord. Anyway, let's uh, pick up some of the other stuff the giants usually have on them. Uh, there's a chest. Usually they have a chest nearby. Cave bear pelt, take that. And those are piss, basically what it is. And I think they also have some more skeever hides over there. The bigger fire. Because they try to roast things at the bigger fire, usually. Am, am I dumb? I could have sworn they had another fire. I am the dumbest motherfucker, apparently. Jesus. Okay... I guess I'll just go fuck off to uh, complete that uh, thing for Falkreath. Yeah, that's it. I'll just go. I'll, I'll, I'll go fuck off. Okay. The Jarl of Falkreath is Sidgear. Among the youngest of the Jarls in Skyrim, Sidgear took the place of the, place of the former Jarl, his uncle Dengear. Items can be stored safely in any containers in your own house, but items kept in any other containers may not be there later when you go to retrieve them. So beware. <laughs> okay. That was weird. No, you do not. What are you talking about? You are drunk. What are you... Hey, you... Wait. I know you. No, you don't. You're making a mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. And you are crazy. I'm the Earl Thane. I demand you let me go at once. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. I will, but I don't even remember what I did. <laughs> so, okay. That, that works, I guess. Cool beans. We'll uh, talk to the Jarl, then. Well, not the Jarl, more his steward, or stewardess. That sounds sexist. Steward works better. Talk to you, hey here. Sid Gear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. That's probably the best thing you could have. Giant at Secunda's shelf is dead. I'm here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. It better be huge. One hundred. Fuck you. Me wisdom forever light your path. I know this motherfucker has a bunch of gold. Fuck you. Okay. Uh. And I. This is. I'll disenchant that. And I'll enchant this with absorb health. And do it with common you. soul gem. Serve under Jarl Sid gear and Jarl um. Gear let's him. see what else I can enchant. To make it easier to sell later. Uh, destruction usually is higher value. Again, common soul. Uh, golden ruby. And fortify destruction. I think I just disenchanted the uh, stamina one, didn't I? Yeah, I think so. Which is good, because I needed to do that. I think I should. I think I really should. Wait, let me see how good my uh, enchanting skill is again. Uh, it's not really that far in, and I do need another perk into that. And then when I put that perk there, 
I'd make my skill enchantments even stronger. I'll hold off on that for now. I'll hold off on the disenchanting for now. I think. But I will enchant some of the other stuff that I can do that to. Because, you know, why not? Uh, light helmet. Uh, destruction. And I think we'll do petty soul gems for a couple of those. And... There we go. I think we'll call that good. Ooh, I'm almost close to the next one. Uh, hmm. Let's enchant that with something I might like. Uh, fortify destruction with my bl the black star. That'd be useful for now. And I'll enchant that. Oh, uh, I don't have enough still. I'll tell you what, I'll enchant with another common soul gem with destruction. Damn it! <laughs> I don't want to be wasting my common soul gems. There we go. But now I get an extra level! Yay! And I think what I will be doing, putting that into health, and... I don't really have anything else other than conjuring I want to put it into. So, for the time being, I'm going to put it in enchantments, specifically skill enchantments. And that is good for now. We will end the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. I post them daily. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And you know, share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. And we can talk about the games that we're playing currently together. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.